Hello friends, the incidence of cancer in our country is increasing. The possibility of the incidence doubling in the next 10 to 15 years is real and throws grave challenges on the health infrastructure. It's time we change mindsets from a reactive to a proactive one. Instead of dreading cancer, if we confront with proactively addressing the possibility, we can catch cancer early. This not only increases the chance of a complete cure, but also drastically cuts cost in cancer care. Early detection of cancer is made possible by cancer screening. WHO mandates that if we can eradicate at least a single cancer by the year 2030, cancer cervix is one such cancer which is amenable to cancer screening. A good screening tool needs high sensitivity. The knowledge of the agent which causes cancer helps us catch the culprit upstream. HPV, the human papilloma virus, is the cause for cervical cancer. Not all HPVs mean cancer. 14 high-risk HPVs need to be detected. A test with a high sensitivity as high as 95% for the high-risk HPV acts as an excellent screening tool to detect cervical cancer. The test uses fully automated high-throughput PCR to detect the virus samples in, from the vagina by the physician-assisted methods. The same may be made available through self-sampling now. This test is available on FDA-approved machines in the country today. This has replaced the traditional pap smear, which has low sensitivity of around 50 to 53 percent. Also, the ability of the automated RT-PCRs to have high negative predictive value means that the subject need not repeat the test frequently. Every five or even up to 10 years can be a periodicity of the screening test. It gives yourself a tension-free span, unlike the pap smear test, where we have to do it every two years. Friends, India contributes to 25% of the world load of cervical cancers, and it is among the second most common cancers in women after breast cancer. We need to address this, especially through screening of the HPV virus. Let us pledge to make our women safe and help to eradicate one common cancer in them by the year 2030. Thank you, friends.